what pops up when it comes to that valuation and what is driving it, other than the fact that, of course, TikTok has become almost synonymous with the pandemic lockdown? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you said, like the valuation has surpassed 100 billion, and uh, the highest is 140 billion. And uh, you mentioned that it's higher than uh, U.S. competitors like uh, Twitter and Snapchat. But if we look at China, like it's already like higher than Meituan, which is the number three uh, public listed internet stock. So that puts Biden's only after uh, Tencent and uh, Alibaba, which is the twin giant in China's internet space. What happened, like uh, in the over the past two or three years, is that Biden has been eating up the online advertising market share in China and globally. That has put huge pressure uh, to competitors like uh, Tencent. Um, so, uh, I guess the key success of theirs is like they can keep turning out like uh, viral uh, right. apps, viral online services like TikTok and Douyin. Uh, Jiaping, but given the pushback against Chinese companies on privacy and censorship concerns, can ByteDance truly become a global player? Yeah, I think that's the biggest obstacle they have to face. Like, they've done a lot of jobs to uh, reconcile with the regulatory uh, scrutiny. First, like, uh, they did some uh, corporate restructuring. Like, TikTok is now uh, operated by a... Uh, separate entity from the main Biden's entity. And recently they hired a uh, Disney top executive, executive, Kevin Mayer. And by putting a non-Chinese face in front of the global market uh, as the TikTok CEO and Biden's COO, that might also help them to uh, address with uh, regulatory concerns.